Well, howdy, partners, and welcome to another deep dive into the world of forgotten films. Today, we're saddling up and heading back to 1942. Oh, 1942, a year that, well, a lot was going on in the world. Yeah, no kidding. World War II was raging. But in the midst of all that, Hollywood kept churning out movies... And not just the big budget epics. Right, we're talking B movies. Like the westerns. Specifically, we're talking about Range Busters Trail Riders. The 18th film in Monogram Pictures Range Busters series. Yeah, this one stars John Dusty King, Davy Sharp, and Max Alibi Terhune. Now, might not be household names, but these fellows were staples of the B western genre. And Range Busters Trail Riders is, uh, well, it's a pretty typical example of what these films were all about cowboys, villains, and a whole lot of action. All wrapped up in a neat, tidy package. So let's mosey on in and take a closer look at Range Busters Trail Riders. All right. Let's start with the plot, shall we? It's about as straightforward as they come. Yeah, you get a group of cowboys. They're just trying to live their lives. But, oh, some no-good varmints come along and try to take what's theirs. And our heroes, of course, they got to stand up and fight back. Now, it's not exactly Shakespeare. No. But there's something kind of comforting about that simplicity, don't you think? I think especially in 1942, with the world in such turmoil, audiences were looking for escape. And what better escape than a good old-fashioned Western? Where the good guys always win in the end. And the bad guys get what's coming to them. You know, speaking of those good guys and bad guys, the characters in Range Busters, Trail Riders, are about as archetypal as you can get. Yeah, the cowboys are like... The epitome of rugged individualism. Strong, silent types. They live by a code of honor. Always ready to lend a helping hand. And the villains are, well... They're just clean evil. No shades of gray here. No complex motivations. <laughs> they're bad, and they're proud of it. And that's kind of part of the B-movie charm, I think. Yeah, you know exactly who to root for from the moment they appear on screen. Now, all that being said, I did find myself wondering about the cinematography in this film. Oh yeah, how so? Well, it showcases the beauty of the American West. Those wide open spaces. Majestic mountains. But it just lacks a certain artistry, you know? It's functional, but it's not particularly memorable. Like those action sequences? You got your shootouts. You fist fights. You get the job done. But they're not exactly groundbreaking in terms of filmmaking. Right. The camera angles are pretty basic. The editing is straightforward. And again, I think that comes down to the nature of B-movies. They were made on tight budgets. Tight schedules. The focus was on getting the story told efficiently. Not necessarily on pushing the boundaries of cinematic technique. Right. So while the cinematography might not win any awards... It serves its purpose. It gets us from one action set piece to the next. Which is what the audience came to see. Now, even with those limitations, I do think Range Busters, Trail Riders, manages to touch on some classic Western themes. Oh, absolutely. Like justice. Good versus evil. The importance of camaraderie. Loyalty. These themes are woven throughout the film. And they're part of what makes Westerns so enduringly popular. Yeah, but it's interesting to me that... Range Busters Trail Riders doesn't really delve into any deeper social issues. You know, like some Westerns of that era were starting to grapple with things like land rights or the treatment of indigenous peoples. Right. But this film kind of sidesteps all of that. And I think that makes sense, given its purpose as pure entertainment, escapism. Right. It's presenting this very idealized romanticized vision of the West. Yeah, a vision that probably resonated with audiences who were dealing with the very real anxieties of war. So while Range Busters Trail Riders might not be a masterpiece of cinema, it offers a fascinating window into a specific time and place. A time when people were looking for a break from the harsh realities of the world. And they found that break in the familiar, comforting tropes of the B-Western. So I guess that leaves us with a question for you, dear listener. Yeah. How do you think a film like this, a film that's so simple and straightforward, spoke to audiences in 1942? What did they see in these cowboys and villains? What did it offer them in a world that was so full of uncertainty and fear? It's something to ponder as you explore more cinematic treasures from the past. And if you're looking for a place to start that exploration, might we suggest our very own streaming service? Please visit our streaming service at lostandfoundfilms.uscreen.io. I hope you enjoyed this podcast. Please like and subscribe and hit the bell for our notifications of our future films. Thank you.